I think they're doing well. I mean, they, they, they have come a long way um, since they jumped in here on the, the 5th of October. Um, and, and this was the first airborne operation of its type for this organization since essentially since they jumped into Iraq. Um, again, because of that, 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 that tempo and that pace of, of deployments, uh, they, they, they haven't focused tremendously on kind of the large package tactical airborne operations that we saw on the 5th of October. So just the fact that they were able to put that all together, uh, jump in this environment, really when you think about where they're, where they're based between three different locations uh, with the heavy drop platforms, bundles, and then the, almost a thousand uh, paratroopers, I think was pretty, pretty incredible. It was synchronized, it, it went pretty much in accordance with their plan. Um, so I, I think it went extremely well. There's been learning points, you know, all along uh, since then. Uh, you know, we, we found ourselves initially in an analog in environment. So again, we were doing things that we were not used to doing, tracking on maps with push pins and markers. And, and most of us are used to falling into an environment that's very mature with digital systems where one guy gets up out of the seat and the next guy sits down. So again, kind of uh, going through some old skills uh, that some of us that have been in the Army a little longer are, uh, we're used to, um, but they've, they've come a long way with that, and uh, they've, they've done an impressive job in getting their, their systems up, um, and, and they're certainly a learning organization. Uh, they're, they're taking a lot of the, the, the lessons learned throughout stuff that's been brought up with the ARs, and, and they're really applying it, and they're, they're truly getting better.